This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They provide completed PCB assembly service with worldwide free shipping and ISO 9001 quality control system. Also, on their site there is an online Gerber viewer where you can upload your Gerber and drill files to render your board. So, if you want to make a PCB for your electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice for you. Visit their website and www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, this time I will show you how to make a sensitive pulse induction metal detector which is based on ARM STM32 microcontroller which is a significantly better future than Arduino and it is also cheaper. The positive thing is that you can install an Arduino bootloader on it, after that you can use it as a regular Arduino. This is my first project with this microcontroller and the experiences are very positive and actually after flashing the bootloader there is no difference between STM and Arduino. This time I will focus more on the project itself and for how to install bootloader and sketch on the STM32 you can find many tutorials and instructions on the internet. The project is taken from the scheme.net site in that there is a small error in the given schematic and instead of the B9 pin, B8 should be used. I have corrected that in the schematic diagram given below. Also the original project uses STM32 f 103 c 8 but the metal detector works, works quite regularly with STM32 F103 C6, which is a cheap clone version of the original. So the device is relatively simple to make and consists of the following components. STM32 F103 C8 T6 microcontroller, a TL072 operational amplifier integrated circuit, free transistor BC 847 or similar uh, power MOSFET IRF740 7805 voltage regulator NEX rotary encoder buzzer WS2812 LED strip with 8 LEDs and resistors and capacitors as a power source, I use three lithium-ion cells connected in series, that is about 12 volts, and 7805 regulator for powering microcontroller. The indication is made on a WS2812B module of 8 LEDs and a buzzer. The control is carried out using the rotary encoder. When the power is turned on, the search coil must be moved away from the metal objects as the sensitivity is automatically adjusted. Further, the sensitivity of the metal detector is adjusted manually by rotating the encoder knob. There is also a menu mode. The first, the first press on the encoder no knob enters the LED brightness adjustment mode. Second press, buzzer off and buzzer on mode. Third press, target detection depth adjustment mode with decrease or increase the duration of the pulse. The fourth press, we enter the adjustment mode for larger or smaller objects. The fifth press, exit the main menu mode and auto adjust the sensitivity. 
The coil is wound with wire 0.7 mm with a 20 cm diameter and consists of 25 turns. But, but as you can see during the test I used a sensor consisting of two serially connected coils with diameters of 12 and 23 cm, each containing 20 windings. It is very important to mention that the device is, uh, when the device is switched on, it is automatically calibrated so there must, there must not be any metal object near the coil at that time. And now let's see how the device works in real condition in the air. Below follows a brief description of the method of manufacturing the metal detector. 